What up, cut ups? This is my outfit of the day, you guys. And it's a very old outfit. I've actually had it for a very, very long time. And I did get this from a Goodwill, everybody. It has a little belt that ties right here. It's like a spandexy material, kind of stretchy. And like I said, I got it from the Goodwill. This is very old. I wore this a long time ago. Hmm. When I did my ass too fat video, I don't know if you guys ever saw that before, but yeah. Anyway, everybody stay tuned in for this very important video. All right. What up, cut ups? Hope you guys are doing well. This video today, guys, is just to try to inspire somebody out there to be confident and always be sure of yourself no matter what, um, no matter what life throws at you, no matter what body type you may have, no matter what your skin color is, what your hair look like, anything. Just always own what you look like and always have very high self-esteem, okay? Because it really, really does take you a very long way. Okay, always have issues with this remote, but I just wanna say that me personally, I've never really dealt with uh, a self-esteem or confidence issue because I just always had it. And I don't know if it was because I was lucky enough to have um, parents that really instilled in me and my brother that we were winners and never followers. And that we needed to just, I'm going to say, accept ourselves for who we are, what we are, and to make the best of it. Because in life, that's really all you can do. People are going to talk about you guys no matter what you do, no matter what you look like. No, no. Jesus Christ was talked about, okay? So, it's important that you just try not to let people get in your head. Try not to let people break you down with emotional abuse and things of that sort. Ooh, yeah. I need some water so bad. Oh. But like I was saying, Excuse me. Try not to let people break you down, like emotionally or mentally, you know, get in your head and make you think that you're less than. I know that there are a lot of people, male and female, that are in bad relationships where you have people that try to break you down. And don't get me wrong, honey. I have been in those type of relationships as well. Not that many but I know what it's like. So a lot of times you still have to just strive to put yourself on a pedestal, irregardless of what anybody say. If people are saying negative things about you, you want to try to let that go in one ear and out the other and never let that shit register in your head. Okay. You have to own everything you do okay but when it comes to your physical attributes and things like that male and female you gotta own it you just do you just do i was once in a relationship like i said i've been there done that and i was in a relationship one time where <clears throat> this person actually used to try to make me uh, feel like I was inadequate or try to make me feel insecure. And he did that by not complimenting me, um, not giving me the praise and stuff like that, you know, that I knew I had coming. Um, <clears throat> and I guess I just start to feel like, you know, I, first off, I, I, I never even let that shit register in my head. Okay, I knew better. I know better. Okay, um, no, you know, as far as emotionally, it, you can't do it. 
I cannot let people get in my head. And I didn't let that person get in my head either, but he tried. And that was one of his ways. Um, when I would get all dressed up, <clears throat> maybe going out or doing a video or whatever, um, this person used to try to not compliment. It was the things that he didn't say, you know, like when I knew that I was looking good that day. I just knew it from head to toe. And that was his way of trying to make me feel less than by simply not saying, oh, babe, you look good. You know, you, I, you, you look really, really, really fabulous or nice or give me a hug and, you know, try to show me some type of encouragement. Mm-mm, nah, he, he didn't do that. And the only thing I can say is that I just eventually started to realize that, that maybe this person is doing this because maybe they don't have, you know, confidence or self-esteem. <clears throat> Come to find out that was the case, you know. They were never told that they were good looking. Um, they parents never really instilled in them that they can be anything, do anything, you know, be winners, you know, like mine did. So... I guess a lot of that does have to do with how people feel about themselves, you know. And it's just unfortunate, everybody, that everybody couldn't... <laughs> I know this might be unfair to say, but it is unfortunate that everybody don't don't think like I do when it comes to your self-esteem, okay? It is just so important. It don't matter what you look like, all right? That don't matter. If you got high self-esteem and you know you're not really attractive, just having that high confidence is going to make you look attractive or make you appealing to somebody. And I know that might seem strange, but that's just how it works. If you have high self-esteem and high confidence and you walk into a room, people are going to be turning around looking like, thinking, who's that, you know, it shows, okay? So if you're a person that's not that attractive, but you got high confidence, that is definitely going to be a positive attribute to your personality. So, hey guys, with that being said, I just hope that I'm able to at least reach one person, just one, you know, to have them know that Self-preservation is the first rule of nature, and you have to preserve yourself, not just physically, but emotionally and mentally as well, and not let people come in and try to break you down, okay? So, please, everybody, just, you know, th this is not going to be a long video. I just wanted to keep reiterating how you can't let people get into your head and try to tear you down because in this day and time, that's just what people do. Most people are negative. They dwell on, um, you know, negative things. And, you know, unfortunately, that's kind of contagious. You know, it can be. So you have to be strong enough to just not accept what these people are saying, especially if you know in your mind and your everything that it's not true. You know, brush that shit off your shoulder and keep it moving, everybody. Okay? And when you are in a relationship like that, or even if it's not a relationship, it can be your parents or siblings or whatever that try to make you feel some type of way. Mm-mm. If anything, just realize that that person doesn't have your best interests, maybe. And you just probably need to move around and maybe involve yourself with people who are more positive. People that's going to motivate you. People that's going to uplift you and hold you down. Okay? And make you feel secure. Make you feel confident. You know, those are the type of people you need to be around. And if you're not around those types of people, try to... Find somebody, you know, even if it's like a neighbor, um, I don't know, maybe another relative that's not like that or another friend that's not that way or something like that. I'm just saying it's important to a teacher, uh, maybe even your kids or something, you know, just somebody who is for you 
and somebody who's going to root you on at the end of the day. Because that's really what it's all about, you know. Having confidence. Having high self. You know what? It don't even got to be that high. Just have some self-esteem. Some, okay? Because it goes a long way, everybody. But the confidence, I'm going to say this from my own experience. Confidence goes a long way, you know, irregardless of what you look like. So imagine if you were attractive and you got that confidence. You are going to really draw a lot of people to you. So, ladies and guys out there, try to own your confidence. Try to own your self-esteem. And I, I have to keep saying this, guys, because something so small is, is so, so, so very big when it comes to how you feel about yourself. So, like I said, keep those negative people away from you. You know, they don't mean you any good. If they're trying to tear you down, break you down, you know, why? Because that's what I would ask myself when I was involved with that person what's the purpose you know what are you getting from this like is somebody paying you to do this no and it's a lot of times like i said it's because that person didn't have that so they inflict what they didn't have you know on other people <clears throat> and it's unfortunate but it does happen all the time and i'm just saying this too because i just had a very very recent experience with a person and it was a personal experience because that person was like, you know, in my, in my, uh, my space, my private personal space. <clears throat> and I had never, and I repeat this, I had never in my life ever met a person that was so, so insecure, whose confidence and self-esteem was just in the gutter. And I guess it just really made me feel some type of way, you know, because I don't want people to, to, to deal with that because for me, that experience was very draining. And you know, like when you are just the opposite of that, it is very, very hard to try to incorporate a person like that in your life. That is hard, okay? And it, it wears on you. It, it does. It, it wears on you too. And if you're not careful, you know, it can get on you. It can rub off on you, you know, if you're not careful. So for me, just being around this person for a short while was enough to say, you know, I'm going to say to make this video. Okay, people, please. I ain't going to say it again. Probably say it again at the end of the video, but I couldn't believe what I was going through, you know. The thoughts that was coming to my head, it was making me think like negative things about this person. Like, I just don't understand. Like, because the outside is just so beautiful. But a lot of times people people are broken on the inside. <clears throat> and come to find out this person did disclose to me some private information that basically confirmed what I was thinking. And yeah, they have been getting emotionally and, um, you know, no, uh, mentally abused in, in a past relationship. And yeah, that's unfortunate to let somebody cut you down, you know, uh, like that. So people try to stay strong out here and just try to move forward, you know, without the negativity. Try to... <clears throat> like I said, uplift and motivate somebody to do the right thing and to always believe in themselves. That's all this video was about. Owning your confidence and your self-esteem and making it count. Thanks for watching, Cut Ups.